Hi and welcome to the River Wye in Hereford. I'm here today with Midlands superstar Danny Ashington and we're going to be trying to uh, catch some of these prolific shoals of fish that live here. Um, but Danny, the River Wye, um, you fish venues all over the country, you're an all-rounder. Yeah. I think once the nights cool off and the leaves start dropping, there's only one venue you're thinking about in there. Yeah, I love coming here. It's sort of one of them venues that you can catch 30, 40 pound roach, chub, dice. And once you have one of them days fishing, Awesome. You don't particularly want to go anywhere else, to be honest. With yeah, you. it's so prolific, and like I mm. say, there are. It can be hard, just like any other venue. Yeah. But when it's good, it's really. Yeah, good. you have to take the rough with this move. You can't expect to come and catch mm. thirty pound all the time you're coming. You know, he's, there's different parts of the river. You've mm. got less fish, but then when you do get on the fish, it's memorable, isn't it's it? Me and, and it, you know, just the days that you've had where you've not caught. Mm that puts it back into perspective sort of thing so brilliant so we're going to try today we're going to we're going to get some back we're going to fish like big rigs we're going to put some ground bait in see if we see if we can cut some roach chub dace whatever will, yeah. will be obliging should we uh, go and get some ground bait mixed yeah, up definitely yeah perfect come on mate. brilliant so danny ground bait you've um, i mean you've fished all over europe use many different types of ground bait for many different scenarios yeah this venue in particular where we're putting quite you know a volume of, of, of loose offerings in with ground bait and that so what sort of mix are you looking for in a ground bait? I want something that's going to be sticky mm. um, and it's still it's quite a coarse mix with bits on it because I'm looking for during the day for bits to be coming off it all the time moving downstream bringing more fish into your peg um, so I don't particularly want a fine mix no. but I need something sticky that I can put handfuls of casters in hemp that I know is going to go straight down to the bottom. That's the key, isn't it? Yeah. That when you put those bits and pieces in the casters and the hemp, that it doesn't just break down and no. just doesn't make the, the mix almost unstable, isn't it? No, you, you, you want it to get down to the bottom with a, a quite a fast breakdown because you're looking to catch so many fish. You want your ground boat sort of breaking down straight away. Yeah. But equally, the last thing you want is bits coming off mid water, sort of attracting more small fish into your peg. It, it, it's a positive river. Yeah. We need to be getting lots of bait down to the bottom. And I think I think if your mix is right, it gives you a control as well, doesn't it? Yeah, that's that's yeah. the key. Is you, you don't want to just be put piling everything into a mix, and you don't want a big stodgy mess. No. But you no, also no, want no. it to break down and do what you want. So it, it's having that control element. So um, you're quite you, you've been in quite a unique position really with this because you joined Bake Tech a, a while ago now, but you've gone through the process of, of sort of going through the mixes yeah, that we've got yeah. uh, and, 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 and finding the mix for you, for this venue and for other venues and that, which I've sort of kind of, you know, I've, I've sort of been involved with this for a long time now and I was sort of quite envious of what the process you were going through. So tell me what's your number one mix for this river right now, what we're going to do today. Um, I would go for a bag of the Pro Natural Extra. That's that one, yeah. Yeah, which has got it's a lot coarser mix, bits of hemp in it, and it, it, it's just sort of naturally a little bit more stickier. Do you think that's a gen? I mean, that's a general rule of thumb I find that if if you've got, you know, I can see through the bag here. There's some quite, you know, some decent sized bits in there. Yeah. That generally relates to a stickier mix, doesn't yeah, it? You get those bigger, yeah, bigger yeah. parcels. So that's your base. Yeah, mix. that's the base, and then I would also add a bag of the Pro Natural Bream, which potentially goes against what we're going to be picking because we're not particularly targeting bream, we're, fish, we're fishing for roach, dice, skimmers, perch. If you catch a bream today, I'll be very impressed. No, I know, but <laughs> it's, I don't know, the smell of it, I, lo I love the smell, it's just got that distinct smell that it's if a I sweet, was a fish, I'd yeah. want to sort of eat it. And this is like, something I saw someone else do as well, and it did sort of open my eyes to it as well. You know, they were using the bream mix on this river where we've got yeah, no bream, but like you say, it's about, that's got brazine, it's got yeah, all it's those a, sweet flavours. And, um, and I think that also adds to the mix as well, the way they mix up as well. The sweet flavours generally add a bit of stickiness again, yeah, to things. Yeah, again, you've got like, a bit more molasses in it, mm. which is like, you know, sticky. It smells awesome. Yeah. So that and that. Do you go with a normal Pro Natural for that as well, or a bag of dark at any time? Um, I would go for the the, no, the, 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 the the normal Pro Natural if I was targeting smaller fish on sort of slower, mm. so, so slower rivers where you was looking for smaller fish. Mm. Here we're looking for fish that just they're eating all the time, aren't they? They just yeah. keep eating, and they so, so so you're not you haven't got the risk of filling them up. No. Um, and obviously, then sort of you move into the, the, the Pro Natural dark range. Mm. in clearer water yeah sort of this, you know, is, this so you you'd, you'd add maybe a bag of this to that if it was if the water yeah, is really was, clear yeah, that real in winter clear. That sort of yeah, thing. because this is generally a, a slightly lighter mix isn't it than, yeah, than the extra yeah. and whatever so it's or again is vice versa i would then add 
the, the, the pro natural bream mm. in the dark to dark and you mix off yeah. again. So it's a, it's an all round, you know, you, you've got something for every occasion, but if you were going to pick one mix, it would be a bag of that yeah, and, and a bag, bag of the yeah, extra. The extra okay. yeah. um, and obviously, you know, these are kilo and a half bags, you know, and, and, and a lot of stuff gets talked about this river, about the amount of bait we use and stuff. But realistically, most of my fishing, and I think you might be the same, you know, they're kilo and a half bags, two bags of that. And then you've yeah, got the other plenty. products. We, you know, we bulk out with soil. Yeah. Um, we bulk out with, with crushed hemp. You know, it's not, it doesn't have to, it's not all about putting, you know, loads of bags of different ground baits, no, is no, it? No, all enough. I think your initial mix is you'll initially put a volume of bait in to get fish into your peg. But then once the fish are in your peg, it's not a case of chucking a double size hand, you know, ball of ground bait every chuck. It's about then keeping the fish in, sort of active in your peg. Yeah. And, and over your main initial and, and you know, it is feeding them as you need to. It's not about chucking buckets of ground bait yeah. in that everybody seems to think. Yeah, it's a competition of who can throw yeah, the who, most who in. Who can feed the most and it's not. Yeah. It's about understanding what your ground bait's doing yeah. and why you're feeding it at times, you know, throughout different times of day and that you may end up feeding at one point for an hour. Mm. You may have to feed more to get more fish into your peg. Yeah. Back again, you know, again, it's all about just reading what your ground bait's doing and, and, and understanding why you're throwing it in. Good stuff. So uh, we've, uh, I suppose really we'd better get some mixed up and uh, yeah, get and some chucked yeah, in the river, yeah, shall we? Some in, yeah, definitely. Right, come on then. I think autumn's definitely arrived, hasn't it, Dan? Yeah, definitely. Wind and leaves. So it's changed a bit now, hasn't it? The river's sort of, you know, early on you, you seem to be catching right on top of your grain, mate. Um, and now it's sort of more, you're sort of like fishing through it and on loose feed and that. Have you changed, have you changed your grain, mate? Are you putting it in now? You know, have the fish changed or have you changed, have you moved them into position? No, I've still sort of obviously started off, there's some fish on top of it, as you said. Um, the ground bait's still the same. I've not altered it in any way. Still got the same amount of particles in. I just think as the more loose feeds gone into the river, the fish seem to be wanting to chase bait around a bit. It's clearer. Yeah. They're just, just sitting a bit further down now. We're just yeah. fishing for bites. It's been good though, isn't it? It's been interesting. Like, like, you know, it's, the river's cleared out a lot, so it's not quite. You know, we're having to fish out in the river. You know, we've not been able to get them within pole range today, which, you know... Um, no, I think that, bit, that's the water clarity. Yeah, it's a just a bit more colour it would have been... Uh, yeah. And you've just, kept, you've just kept that going in the same place all day. And, and what would you say, you're feeding a ball every two or three casts? Yeah, every two or three casts and some maggots and hemp every cast. Just to try and keep some fish interested. 
it's not all like I said earlier it's not always about amounts of feed is it it's about sort of creating that keeping that constant yeah, column it, of yeah, bait you know and understanding that how how the fish are going to want it as I say that can change from hour to hour is he's you, you might end up going from feeding a ball of chuck to then every three four chucks and equally depending on what sort of fish you're catching as well I think that's important isn't it you don't it's not just one way all day is it it's like you don't just feed a ball of chuck all day regardless you've got to know why you're putting each ball in and what it's doing for your peg isn't yeah it? definitely and also reading I suppose how the fish are reacting to that one as well It's still quite early in the autumn as well, isn't it? It's, it's, I think the, you know, I don't think all the fish are here yet, but it's certainly. No, it's still, it's still potentially like a two or three weeks, isn't there, for, for more fish to come into the length? Yeah. There's no surprise now as we get on for the day now that the, the main fish we've been catching recently have been roach, isn't it? Yeah. It is a roach, that is, mate. Yeah, it's fighting just like that at the beginning, isn't it? And he's just kited straight up to the top, isn't he? And mm. That. What's this end done? No, it feels a bit bigger. Chub. Chub, you reckon? Maybe, yeah. Uh... Could be a big roach again. Oh, that's what I love about days like today, like, and then this time of year in it, you don't actually know, do you? It's always, you know, it's not just like that getting a load of dace lined up or queuing up, it's uh, always back winding. I think you fancy a chub, don't you? I think he does feel a bit, ch yeah. We haven't had a lot of chub today, have we? It's been mainly dace and roach. A couple of perch. It's got to be a chub fighting for the uh, cover like that. Great big perch. Look at that. <laughs> That's huge. <laughs> pound, aren't they? That's more than a pound, no, that is, Dan. It's a proper two, two and a half pound, I reckon. It's a pound, and that could be. That's two pound, that two is. Two pound, aren't they? Let's have a look on the camera. Show that to the cameras, Dan. Look at that. I'll tell you what. He's lovely, aren't they? If there was a way to end a day, I reckon that's it, Dan. Yeah, what a lovely fish! What a lovely fish! Brilliant. Well, that was enjoyable, wasn't it, mate? Yeah, uh, nice. I don't think it's going to get much better than that, is it? No, I wanted it. Unless to you be can a... catch me a roach that size. Oh, I don't know. I wanted that to be a chub. So, whatever it is, we've had all kinds, haven't we, today? So, uh, yeah. no, I've enjoyed watching that, and I think we've. Um, I think you're in. Uh, you're in good form, ready for the autumn. All the competitions yeah. coming up now. Yep, just need some drawers. Yep. Are you having another go, yeah? One last cast. One last cast. When's it my go?